Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Koji. So today we are going to try out and do a review video about the free will and defeat packs, which is the M2 version, also stand for Magnetic version 2.0. So today we are going to try out on my Sony zv 10 with the Viltrox 30mm f1.4 lens. So let's briefly talk about this ND filter packs from Freewell. So as you can see, it is made with leather here and it is quite sturdy. In the the case does protect your ND filter as well. The zip here. So let's open it. You can see there's a lot of filters for you to choose from. So this is a magnetic filtering. So let's try to install it here. So now you got a magnetic filtering. So this is the filter cap. So my diameter is 67. So yeah, just put it on here. It works pretty good. So yeah, this is the Viltrox 30mm f1.4 lens. I will use it to test on my Sony zv 10 You can see a cup sound here of free well magnetic filters which makes it to become magnetic if you get what i mean it's just super easy it snap in just like this so yeah guys today i will be testing out the nd filters and of course it comes with the cpl filters so i will do a side by side comparison so you guys can see the result so let's go 1 over 50 shutter speed f1.8 so this is the nd8 as you can see yeah I can achieve a f1.8 with a good exposure with 1 over 50 shutter speed. So I can enjoy some motion blur on my hand. So as compared to using 1 over 500 shutter speed, so this is without the ND filters and I'm using 1 over 50 shutter speed. Yeah, you can see every movement of my hand. It just seems unnatural because there's no motion blur to it. ND64. It seems a little bit dark, but that's okay. 1 over 50 shutter speed, f1.8. I think this is the perfect exposure. My ISO is at 250. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Now this is f1.4. This is the ND1000. Of course, for the ND1000, right now my ISO just bumped up to ISO 4000 already. So this is intended for photo purposes and not for video. So let's try to take a photo with the ND1000. So this is the UV filter, the ND8. This is the ND8 filters. And still, you can still stack another ND64 on top of it. So yeah, I think this looks pretty good. But my ISO is now at 1250. 1 shutter speed at 1.4. You can stack how many filters as you like. Let's stack another CPL filter. There seems to be some vignetting going around. So right now it's actually five filters attached on top of my lens. So my advice will be to get a bigger filter diameter of ND filter packs like the 77 or 82 from the Freewell filter packs. And this CPL filter, the best way to test on the CPL filters will be shooting on something that's reflective like my car over there. Right now I will shoot over the car to try out the CPL filters. So let's go. And D64 CPL filter. I can actually twist and adjust for the CPL filter effect.
place that on the UV filter, the ND8 filters. Also, we have the ND64 filters, the CPL filters. And finally, we have the cape. So here, I've stuck a lot of filters here. So as you can see, all this filter is now installed on my lens. You really need to be careful when you are trying to remove it. One, two, three, four. You can actually control how much you want to remove here. It does look well built and really steady and they stack on really well to your camera lenses. So let's try to shake it off. Yeah, so guys, don't ever do this. I'm just trying to demonstrate how sturdy this magnet is. That's all the ND filter pack from Freewell, which is the M2 version. So if you guys are interested, as always, the link is down in the description below. So you guys can head over to the Freewell official website or you can head on to the Amazon to find their products there. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.